let's keep running through the CISSP cryptography section. In the last video, we talked about the basic vocabulary that you need to work through cryptography. In this video, we're gonna keep laying down the basics that you need to know to pass your CISSP exam. So when it comes to cryptography in the CISSP exam, they're going to quiz you through multiple modes, such as a stream cipher and a block cipher. Understand a stream cipher tears down the data into individual bits. It gets down to the bit level, whereas the block cipher is working it down and taking 64 bit blocks. The next term you'll need to know is an SP network, otherwise known as a substitution and permutation network. It's providing added complexity to the algorithm. Next is the terms confusion and diffusion. It is as it sounds. Confusion, to be confused, and diffusion, as in the diffuser that's in your house, a little face with the oil and the bamboo sticks. It, it takes something small and makes it big. And then lastly, the avalanche effect, simply implying that minor changes have a large cascading effect. That brings us to hashing. Now, last time I told you that always, when you're dealing with an encryption question on the CISSP exam, it is a confidentiality-based exam. Uh, so, that being said, when you're dealing with hashing, it's always an integrity-based question. That's why the hash exists, so that the receiver knows that the data that they received is as the sender intended it. Just like cryptography is a two-way function, the hash is a one-way function. Remember, tear it down to being a grammar test. Encryption, a two-way process to encrypt as well as then to decrypt. There is no such thing as dehash, so that'll help you remember that a hash is always a one-way function. The pure definition of hashing is taking variable length input to fixed length output. The different algorithms that you're going to need to be familiar with, both on the asymmetric and symmetric side, can be easily remembered. Let's start with the asymmetric side. Simply remember the word Derek's. Derek spells out the asymmetric algorithms that you need to know to pass the CISSP exam. Diffie-Hellman, el -Kamal, RSA, elliptical curve, knapsack, and the digital signature algorithm. And then finally, the symmetric key algorithms can simply be remembered like this. A, these three guys had an idea to cast their nets to fish for blowfish, but instead receive serpents in the rain. One more time. A, these three guys had an idea to cast their nets to fish for blowfish, but instead receive serpents in the rain. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at some common attacks against cryptography, ways used to defeat passwords, and some core malicious attacks that you need to know to pass your CISSP exam. I'll see you then.